Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Eton FR200 Emergency Crank Radio. It's an AM, FM, shortwave, portable emergency radio that I got for $23 plus tax and shipping on eBay. I bought one because I've always wanted an FR200 based on reviews I've seen on YouTube over the years, but it gets better. I found one in yellow. And speaking of yellow, June 1st is National Yellow Radio Day. It's also known as the first day of the Atlantic hurricane season. And it's a day in which we spotlight our yellow radios created by the Radio Geek back in 2018. Here's his channel. He currently has 3,500 subscribers. Unfortunately, he has not had a video out in about a year and a half I hope the Radio Geek is doing okay. So wherever you are, Radio Geek, we miss you. We hope you're okay. So feel free to subscribe to his channel for radio reviews, radio-related content, and even off-topic videos. Here's the box. I like how they did the box. A picture of the, each side of the radio in accordance to each side of the box. There's the front, then you have the side of the radios. Box is still in pretty decent shape. You have your UPC code, you have your Eton information, address, phone numbers, the website. Copyright 2005, so this radio was made, I'll say close to 20 years ago. At the time of this recording. And then. There's bullet points in the back. Uh, you can pause and look at all that. It's in two languages. English and French I believe. And uh, like I said. I like the way they did their box. But that's not all I got. With I also got the carrying case. You can put your radio in, carry it around, and even a place to put your booklets. Then, there's the AC adapter. 4.5 volts, DC, 100 milliamp hours, and center polarity is negative. Then it also came with a catalog. This, the same catalog in which I got my Eton E10 with. I just uh, want to show you uh, the E10. Oh, it's a little further. There it is. I reviewed this a uh, few years ago. You can go to my radio reviews playlist on my channel to look for that review. And then the FR200, I'll show you where that is, right here. It came in other colors as well. There's the information. And then a couple more pieces of information. There's contact information. Oh, your shortwave bands. Very basic information, but very good. CHU frequencies. WWV frequencies as well. That's just some of what's in the catalog. And then your operation manual. Table of contents is in various languages. And the radio. I'm going to move this down a little bit. But here it is. And I'll do some size comparisons in the meantime before I describe this radio. The Honronda HRD701. This is more of a pure yellow than the FR200. I reviewed that last year and then... I got this radio, the Sanjean DT400W, back in 2020. 
a lot smaller than this receiver. So I'm going to give you dimensions next. Six and a, one half inches in length, five and three quarters of an inch in height, and two and a quarter inches in depth, a 25 inch antenna. The speaker grill is about two and a quarter by two and an eighth inches, which I estimate the speaker at two to two and a quarter inches. And I'll show you what's on the radio. Um, you have this power generator, which is your hand crank. And it lights up a red light on top. That same red light is used while you can use the adapter to charge the radio. Pretty neat that you can operate it that way. Then there's also a flashlight, which unfortunately is so dim it barely works anymore. But if I turn it on, I don't know if it'll come off on camera, but yet it barely works anymore. Then you have your tuning dial. FM, AM, and two shortwave bands, speaker grill, then your flashlight, on and off switch. You have your power selector switch, which you can use for battery and a, for dynamo and adapter. Battery, which is uh, the uh, double A power operation, and then power off. Fan selector switch, FM, shortwave 2, shortwave 1, and AM. On the bottom, um, it says Grundig, so it must have been an older FR200, because I've seen one with the Eton or L.O. Bean label on it, but this one says Grundig, FR200 recycle power. On the bottom, you have a little feet to stand the radio. On top, you have a carrying handle, and of course this uh, red LED light used by either the adapter or hand crank, it'll light up red. On the right, you have this tuning knob. You can either do coarse tuning or fine tuning. You'll especially need it for shortwave because sometimes uh, frequencies with these older analog shortwave radios tend to drift. So it's uh, very good to have uh, this fine tuning. And also, since the bands are pretty broad, uh, you're talking about over 4 megahertz worth of stuff in band 1 and 13 megahertz worth in band 2. So you really need this uh, fine tuning. On the back, you have a hand grip here in case you don't want to use the handle. Another grip here. You have your antenna of 25 inches. It only swivels 180 this way or 180 this way. No, 180 this way and 90 this way. You can secure the antenna like this. And then you have your FCC part 15 rules information. And then... The frequency coverage, Grundig FR200, yeah, this, the box says ETOM, but it's Grundig FR200. FM is 80 to 108 megahertz, AM 530 to 1710 kilohertz, shortwave 3.2 to 7.6 megahertz, shortwave 9.2 to 22 megahertz, made in China. Then you have your headphone jack. Headphone experience, um... There is low-level hiss, and at high volumes, it sounds rather distorted. It's not pleasant to listen to on high volumes. Keep it at low to medium volume, and you'll be fine. And then your DC jack for the adapter, 4.5 volts. You have your battery door, which is captured. And here you have a quality control sticker and then some important notices. Then you have your rechargeable battery pack, which is three little nickel metal hydrate batteries. But you can also operate it by three AA batteries. Now the positives for the top two batteries are to the right. And... 
the positives with Bob Barry to left, three double A's. So you can operate the battery, operate by regular batteries, I like that. And then some screws all around for the radio, and that is all for that. Now what I'm going to do next is tune the bands. And I'm going to start with the FM, which means I got to put the antenna up. And... Yeah, there's a little imaging on the bottom half, a uh, bottom part of the dial below 88. That's actually WBLS New York on wall 7.5, imaging below 87. That happens. It happened with my CC Observer radio as well. That might be WFAN imaging there. Get out of the zone. It's three of us. You win a grant from New Hampshire. There it is. There it is. WNYZLD, which is the audio of TV Channel 6 on 87.75 megahertz. I'm going to go quickly through the dial because you can't hover on music. ...has produced tremendous results with higher traffic, conversion, engagement, and online revenue. If you have any home repairs you need to take care of, check us out at repairclinic.com. If you need a world... WINSFM, New York City, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Network, that's American Eagle. <laughs> That is WPATFM Patterson, New Jersey, 93.1 or more. BYOD promo credit and $360 local promo credit applied for 36 months for new customers with one new line. I like uh, the smooth tuning of this dial. It's very smooth tuning. May not be the most sensitive on FM, but I like the smooth tuning. It's $10 a month for each my plan per additional service. Three and two. Sibber has already walked three this inning. He's WFAN FM New York City Sports Radio 101.9. The fan. I would uh, be welcome to that for sure. No problem at all. Okay. Well, we're going to open the phone line at eight. W272DX New York City 102.3. That is the translator of 570 WMCA. Lines are open. <laughs> Okay, I can help you do that. Right? connectivity program has ended, but Verizon is committed to keeping you connected. WBLS 107.5 New York City. It's home internet for as low as zero dollars a month for six months. And that's W300EI. New York City. Right now, it's currently a translator of K-Love. 
And that is all for the a FM. FM, to me, it's pretty decent depending on the spot, but uh, with these older analog receivers, sometimes you get imaging below 88 as well. As you know, selectivity can also be a little iffy at times, although this one did a pretty decent job. As a matter of fact, according to my FM reception report, it got 44 stations, which is okay. 40 okay to good and 4 weak signals, so yes... FM is better for strong signals because that's selectivity. Next, we'll go to AM so I can... I'll put the antenna down for now, at least. Now, I'll go all the way to the right for... I'll tell you what I don't like about this. Uh, it tunes down when you go to your right up... And then it goes up when you tune down or left. So that's something I don't like about this radio. But so far, FM's pretty decent. Let's check the AM out. This is four. Man was to govern for God. Man was to govern for God. But the third point is the 570 most important WMCA point New York today. City. The entire does not serve the most energy, if anything, it undermines it. It's seven. Bases are loaded. I'm going to go quickly because they still have shortwave to do. From getting the polling place. 1922. That's 800722. This is the WABC Newsroom. It's great time to think about into that extremism. Eight sixty CJBC Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Republicans like the person you're talking about. Charged feelings or whatever. It just really can't. Uh, you've got to find a way. Yesterday, there was an angry white guy, and he had to crush. This episode is looking at the somebody. A retina specialist can confirm the diagnosis and work with. Don't let him kill us. Larry Judge, the gunter on the side. You can only entrust it to the Germans who are disparo ultima. 1280 WADO, New York City. Right. Here, here's what you could do. This is a good question, Frank. So the the New World Translation of the Bible is the, the version that Jehovah's Witnesses use. WNSW 1430, Newark, New Jersey. That's relevant radio, which is a Catholic station. Uh, in places where it. Back to... oh, okay. Luca, fourteen of twenty-two, six of ten from three. A few of the strikes down here continued with a second round upset loss at the French. <laughs> To which round will be sentenced for aggravated battery in Johnson County Juvenile Court? Water forecast for south of Long Island between Montauk Point and Sandy Hook. WQBX 398 Patterson, New Jersey, which is a travel information station that rebroadcast no weather radio. Three to four feet. <laughs> WPTX 1690, Lexington Park, Maryland. WRCR 1700, Haverstraw, New York. And that is it for the AM. Now, AM reception, um... It's pretty decent, in my opinion, um, during the day, good for locals, but can get a few semi-locals here and there. I mean, I did get 
1080 in Hartford and 1210 in Philadelphia. And during the day, 35 stations, 25 okay to good and 10 weak signals now. Tonight, it couldn't get 740, but I've gotten 740 with this receiver if the signal's good enough. I can even get 740 during the day, so selectivity is not too much of a problem here. At night, I got 82 stations, 41 okay to good in 41 week signals. Uh, decent AM during the day, good AM at night. Now it's time for a shortwave. Now, with the telescopic antenna, um, I can get some pretty decent reception on shortwave. So, uh, just want to make sure I'm at shortwave 1. And since uh, we are at 11.29 uh, p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 4 hours later UTC, uh, should be able to get more of the bottom band at night. CHU Canada, which is the Canadian time signal, uh, I'm going to attach an antenna here to see. A little better. But you can clip on an antenna if you want to enhance the shortwave reception. Some ham radio activity. Now I'm only using the telescopic antenna. Okay, that's another thing about the shortwave. Um, it's pretty decent, but sometimes you get these stations that are 900 kilohertz lower than the actual frequency. So you'll get radio MRT 900 kilohertz lower as well as the original frequency. So sometimes you'll get stations repeating and imaging itself. And that's because this is a single conversion shortwave. I.e. you and I, if we are not allowing him to live and work in your body, your temple. That's right. De una de las carreras que se... Some transmission there. Ray Martin. Now, I did get CHU Canada on this before. It does go up that high. But I'm going to try shortwave uh, 2 because I do get some stuff at night here on the lower part. Got something. Yes. Never 
but he decided to stay here for now. Yes. He, he does help somewhere where he can. He helped me in some situations as well. I think this is WRMI Okeechobee, Florida on 15770. Although I think it's imaging 900 kilohertz lower. See WWV, 10 megahertz. WBCQ Monticello, Maine on 9330. Uh, very strong signal around here. Index ranks cut. And that is all. Shortwave, in my opinion, is pretty decent with the telescopic antenna, and depending on propagation, uh, you can get some pretty good reception out of it. Now, shortwave on this radio, best for domestic stations, but you could get some overseas stations as well. And would do a better job if you have a wire connected as well. So, shortwave is pretty decent to good, depending on propagation. Final thoughts. I like this radio a lot. Um, I like the fact that it's pure analog, that you can easily tune in and fine-tune. I like that they have both a coarse and fine-tune on the dial. I also like the fact that you can use a hand crank in case uh, the battery runs out, the nickel metal hydrate, and that you can also use dry batteries. I like that. And um, my, the FM is pretty decent. AM is also decent during day and good at night. And... What I don't like about it, one, the backwards tuning, because if you tune up, it actually goes down. When you tune down, it actually goes up. And also the fact that you can't play in high volumes or else it will sound rather distorted. You can only play it on low to medium volume. That's another thing I don't like about this radio. But everything else, I like the color. It has kind of this yellow-orange type of color, which is a little different from the other uh, types of yellow rays that I've experienced in the past. And those are my final thoughts. Overall, I'm satisfied with this radio. That's my overall thoughts. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications to be informed on upcoming videos and radio reviews on well as DXing and other radio related content. Have a good week, everyone. Stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.